Hey y'all, let's check out our cultures, our lima bean cultures. Let's take a look at them. Ooh, there they are. Um, nice and warm and toasty, right next to the light. So remember, what we did is we put some lima beans in the water. These are just normal store-bought lima beans, and you saw that I put it in a hood here specifically to make sure that we didn't get uh, any uh, stinkage diffusing throughout the room. Um, if you were to do it at home, obviously you'd want to put it in some place where it wouldn't be a problem with the odor and uh, get some help from mom and dad making sure it's safe with the, with the light. But check out that cell respiration that's going on. You can see all those bubbles that are coming up. So those bacteria are consuming the lima beans as food. And each one of them is at a little different state. Some of the cultures are a little better than others, but they are all active and you see bubbles, you know, in, in each one of them. That one has some, some good action going on there. Um, just, just amazing how quick uh, bacteria in the right conditions can reproduce very, very fast. And so binary fission, you know, copying their DNA and splitting, um, going from one to two, two to four, etc. Exponential growth. Limiting factors, obviously, here are is food and, and warmth. If we decrease the temperature, it would st it would stop come to a halt, right? If we were to drop the temperature and slowly go down to freezing, or if we were just to remove the food. Um, and, and also the waste, the waste that's produced by the bacteria themselves will reach a level of toxicity and the, the whole culture will collapse and die. So tomorrow we're gonna check them out. We're gonna look at these little buggers. We're gonna stain them. We're gonna compare them to our eukaryotic cells. Uh, see what the size difference is. But these are really cool critters. So let's, let's pull this out. Here real quick. Take a look at that foam. And whoo, that's a that's a give, give, give that a whiff. That's 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 strong. That's very strong. Uh, yeah. So let's check it out tomorrow. Um, we'll like I said, we'll use the microscopes. You need about 400 times magnification to get a real good look. So, all right. We'll see y'all. Bye.